Part of your year-long work, you will be talking about frontline fundraising and you have a special contest going on and you're going to be working with authors. Tell us a little bit about those efforts. Well, I bring an advantage to this particular initiative in having been the National Book Festival project manager for 10 years mm -hmm. and we've had more than 500 authors who have been part of the festival in their first nine years and of course we're now in our 10th one and we're celebrating a decade of words and wonder. But those, those, I heard personally how very passionate they were about reading and about libraries and the role libraries have played in their lives. And it, you know, it, they are a great untapped resource. They are high profile individuals who can be, through the nature of what they do and this, this, their power with words, mm -hmm. they can be really, really articulate advocates for libraries. And so we are using them. And I have a number of authors who are actually appearing as part of my inaugural event. Hi, I'm Brad Meltzer, and I can tell you right now that if it weren't for libraries and librarians, I wouldn't be a writer today. They are the ones who first gave me the books. They are the ones who put them in my hand. They are the ones who fed my love of reading. I owe you big for that one. I'm Sharon Draper, and when I was a little girl, my mother used to take me to the library once a week, twice a week, sometimes three times a week and that started my love of libraries. And I have not stopped going to the library since. <laughs> my name is Marie Arana, and I'm the author of American Chica, and uh, two novels, Cellophane and Lima Nights, a book called The Writing Life. And I owe everything that I do to libraries. I've also been a book editor and uh, the editor of the book world at the Washington Post for many, many years. And I wouldn't uh, be doing what I'm doing if I hadn't been that kid in a library um, falling in love with books and the ability to go home with a book, which to me was always, I always felt like I was stealing. Uh, I was committing a crime taking home this precious thing. In addition, we have been taping those individuals here at the American Library Association Naval Conference and they're taping messages, PSAs and interviews, et cetera, that we will be mounting up on the website, the ALA website, mm -hmm. and that libraries can download. And we have such a distribution of authors from across the country mm -hmm. that uh, you can be in a, an area, use an author from your particular area to be part of advocating for your library, or you use authors who are very well known, very, very famous, that you would just yourself like to um, have your uh, funders know about, that they are really there for libraries. And again, I think that it's not only libraries speaking about what it is that we do and why we are important to, um, to our communities, again, and our institutions, our users, et cetera, but also it is really having others speak for us and, and be able to get that message out. And that's why I think this is an important initiative. A uh, spinoff of Our Authors, Our Advocates, which is what it's called, is uh, we're going to be doing a toolkit that we'll put up on the website called Cultivating Your Local Notables. And this will allow people in the communities throughout the nation to work with individuals who are celebrities in their communities in their own rights and to, again, bring them on board as um, advocates for libraries. <laughs>